Hey y'all, good morning. This is uh, Clay with Clay's Backyard Bees. And this is uh, January 5th, 2020. So it'll be starting my uh, second year going into beekeeping. Uh, it's probably still got another month uh, of cool weather. We might have some nights down in the 30s in January and everything, but uh, I think we're uh, gonna be through the hard part of it. So I'm gonna consider this uh, start of season two. So uh, thank you for watching uh, along with me on my journey in my first year as a beekeeper. Now we're going to go into uh, my second year as a beekeeper and I want my, one of my goals for this year to take these two hives and split them and make four hives. So I've been getting the yard set up for all that, uh, getting boxes built, frames ordered, uh, everything. So getting all set up for uh, doing that this spring. So hope you uh, enjoy it and uh, enjoy the uh, journey of, of that. So I'll be bringing, bringing you more of that a little later. But uh, right now I just want to check, uh, check the hives, see how they're doing. They've got some good flight going on and uh, get that, uh, get it checked out. So I'm going to get uh, suited up and we'll get dug into it. Shot of the pollen feeder. They are tearing it up. Pollen substitute. All right, let's get dug into them here now. <clears throat> now if you can uh, see my sugar water I got on there. They're taking it. I colored it green. We'll see if we can see some green uh, sugar water in there. Hive there. Let me take it off there. A little puff smoke down in the holes. Let them know we're coming. Okay. What's up ladies? Okay, so up here I've got one, two, three, three good rows of bees. Most of them are probably down. We're going to start over here because this one was, I believe is the one that's down, that's built out real big. So yeah, I'm excited about uh, trying to do my first splits this year. We can get them through, but that is solid honey. That's what they've had that stored since uh, spring, or well, I guess winter, really, not spring. But yeah, I can see where they're really been putting that colored sugar water. This is all honey, and there's a little bit of pollen in there too. But they really hadn't drawn it out much, have they? It's like. Right there, I mean, this, those little cells right there, they're not even hardly drawn out. So this right here is just like real thin. Kind of goes down, and it's real thin. That's two frames of food.
solid honey. And that's got a little, looks like a little green tint to it there, where that open cell is right there. So you put some of that sugar water in those spots right there. Connector there. It's probably got some green, but it's food for them. So that's four frames up here. Let's see what's going on with this frame. Packing sugar water. Yep, it's got a little green tint to it, looks like. Some pollen. Capped honey from earlier in the year. And then they, like, built burr comb. Had the frame stuck together, and that's what this is. A little burr comb that was connecting the two combs together. Take some pollen down in there, mainly honey. And that's about 65 degrees. Oh yeah, nice little brood pattern going on right here. And they got nectar around it with some honey up in the corner that's capped. But yeah, there's a nice little brood pattern there. We're going to take a peek. I've been having problems finding this queen. There's a couple of drone cones right there. Uh, so we're just wondering maybe she got replaced, but because uh, I haven't seen the marked queen that came with the package. But, oh yeah, look at that. There's larva and eggs. The larva there. Just kind of looking to see if I see anything that maybe. Looks like a queen, or maybe got the queen covered up. Not seeing any signs ever yet. Just kind of looking around real good.
there she is. There's my old queen. Right there. See the green dot? That's, yep. A good deal. So she hasn't been replaced. I haven't seen her in a long time. Hey, starting out 2020 with a spotted green dot queen. She's got a nice little brood pattern going right there. This is where some new ones have hatched out. There's quite a few new bees on here. It's got little fuzzy backs and everything. So that's my queen. So we know she's in here. Good deal. I haven't seen her in the past few months. She's, she hides really well. She hides really well. This is a heavy frame because this is one that's next to this one. I don't know, I may need to move that. Move that frame, do something with this maybe. Look how thick that honey is on that. And this is honey. It's not sugar water. Now this is sugar water probably right here. Yeah. Got a little green tint to it. So that's sugar water in that one. But that's solid honey there right there. Just don't know. I'm not gonna do it right now, but uh, I may have to scrape that off. Or since that's capped, what I'll do is when I close everything up, instead of tightening everything together, I'll leave space on between these two here to where it'll give them room to where they, maybe they can draw this frame out right here, and then we'll worry about this frame here. Yeah, this frame here. Get a good look. Get a look at it. Let's slide this one over. I'll show you this one here. Yeah, see, boom. They just got that little bit and this little bit right here. But they got it capped. But well, they don't have room because this is drawn out over here. They don't have room to get in there to work. So if I leave gap in there, maybe they'll work this and bring this out. And then I have to do something with this frame here. But this is the one where it's next to the outside frame that's got that big indention thing in it. Isn't it pretty? So. Slide everything over. And we'll slide that over for right now. Until I get this frame back down in it. And once I get this frame down in it, then I'll make a gap in between them two. Okay, so now I'm gonna come back over here and I'm gonna gap these two right here. And just give them a little gap. gap on that one maybe they'll draw that out get that off the wall there so they got some space so I got two frames that have brood on them and then I got one two three four solid honey five solid honey 
this one here, he's got as, honey, as much honey as he could get on it. Six solid honey, really. So, they're doing good. They're doing good. Let's just take, take a peek in the bottom box real quick. See what they got doing. See what's going on down here. I hate to... not take a look while I'm here. Let's just take a peek. Set our queen over here out of the way. Or the top box. Hopefully the queen is still in there. Goodness gracious, that is heavy. Goodness, that is heavy. Yeah, now look at, look at the bees down here. Quite a few bees down here, so they're working this box here. And let's see if we can get one of these up. Yeah, that box feels a little light. So she may have some eggs down here too. So it's about half full of honey. Is that a good girl? That's putting nectar and pollen in this. Honey there. Looks like where the majority of the bees are down here. Yep, nectar, pollen. Putting in that. And this one's just, they got some nectar going in it. But it's mainly empty. It's like they've been eating on that. Nectar and pollen going here. There's some brood right here. So she has laid down in here in the bottom box. So you got the little brood right there. And we got brood on this side here too. This little patch of brood. There's some oh there's some larva there. Late stage larva that's they be capping, so the, I guess they're capping these. So that's any eggs down there. There's some more larva. Lots of pollen. Quite a bit of pollen right here. So honey stores are doing good on this one. May end up having to take a frame out of this one to put in the next hive. Because that hive just seems light, but we'll see. Yeah, see here more more cat brood. And there's good pollen up there, nectar, more cat brood. Just small patches, but cat brood, and there's some it's like pollen there. Yep. So it looks like she's just like working a couple frames and a couple frames back and forth. Up and down. Chat girls.
Yeah, see this one's, they're putting nectar in it. Sugar water. Sugar water. Pollen and nectar. Same thing on the next one. Alright, well, we'll close her up because we know they're not starving for food. We know the queen's in there. We know she's laying. We know they got pollen going in down here. So we'll close this one up and let them go on about their day. And we'll go on about our day. So I got to get these. I have to get these built up before I'll be able to split them. And that's what I'm going to be working on first thing in spring, getting them built up. So, to get them built up, do some splits. Hopefully, go to four hives. Still got another month, like I said. Might be a little iffy, but we're going we're gonna, to uh, try it and see what happens. good deal. We've seen the queen. Haven't seen her in, like I said, about three months. And she's in there. Yay! Awesome. So we know she's there. We was, we're beginning to think that uh, maybe they replaced it and we just didn't notice it. Because I hadn't seen her in, like I said, three months. So, but you've seen signs of queens, eggs, larva, you know, brood. She got brewed on four frames, two up top, two at the bottom. So she's like working those two up and down right there. And uh, then up there, the rest of it's all honey. I may end up having to take some honey out of this one and put it in this one. I have to look and see. But right now, this one's doing good. I'll get the camera set up and then we'll uh, get dug into this one. That shot of the pollen feeder I got in the yard. That's one of them there. You hear the roar. And then I got a second one just like right over here. Just right there. They are loving it. Loving it, loving it. Well, this one, this one here. I seen my queen the last time I was in it, so I know she's in there. And you can see my green color, my green sugar water that I'm feeding them. Give them a little sugar. Giving them a little sugar. A little sugar water. Alright. This one here. This doesn't feel as heavy as that one over there. But they still got some honey. It's about the same honey as they had before. I may end up having to change out a frame. And if I do, I may change out that old big nasty frame. The big thick one. I may put that over here for these girls to eat. This one's three-quarter honey on it. And there, this one here is not taking the sugar water the way the rest of them, the way the other hive is. So, I don't know it's the number of bees or what, but got a little bit of stored in there, but Honey on that side there too. And 
nectar and that pollen. Oh, there's some pollen in there. This is loaded down with pollen right here. Pollen, nectar, sugar water probably. Capped honey. is hatching right here we got brood is hatching on this side here too pollen no queen on this frame There is some brood on it. See that, girls. larva on this side eggs yep I got egg down in there so the queen's running around here somewhere y'all covering her up y'all eating y'all eating let's see if she's on this side oh there she is there's my little queen right there let's see if she's looking for a place to lay an egg she's looking down in cells Oh, sweetie, those are all got nectar in them. Those all have nectar in them. Yeah, it's got brood pattern here. And there's larva that's in there. There's larva up there, and larva down there. I want you to go to the other side. Oh, okay, she's over here now. She's sneaky. You gotta watch her. Let's just see if she tries to find a, egg, a place to lay an egg. She camera shy. She looking down in that hole. No, nothing going there. Nothing going. Just don't know. Don't know about her. Okay, well. Thought she might back down in the cell here, but she's just wandering around looking. So we'll just put her back down in the hive and let her go on. <laughs> All right. So I'm clean with both queens. And uh, let's just see what else I got over these other two. I can say I may, I may pull. I got this full of nectar. Got some pollen, just full of nectar on this side. And then they're putting nectar in this side. And what's in this frame here? Oop. Nectar. 
and I got capped honey there. I'm going to move this frame over for them since I got capped honey on it. And slide that over there. That frame's got brood on it. So we know that the queen's been on this one. We're going to turn this one around and put the honey on the towards the brood. Give them some food, maybe. And this one here, we're going to do the same thing. Turn it around. We're not going to put it back on this outside edge. We're going to put it over here closer to where they're working. I'm going to turn it around where the honey sides towards where the brood patches are. And that'll give them a couple frames there that they can eat on if they need to. Get them off the sides. Just kind of move them, source it around for them. Give them a little help, maybe. But yeah, so they should start building up pretty soon. Uh, do we want to look in the bottom? Let's just take a peek in the bottom, too, I guess, while we're here. Let's take a peek in the bottom while we're here. <clears throat> okay. Oh. Chat girls. Yeah, they're light. Really light. They're putting pollen in it. Get pollen. This queen don't seem like she's going up and down. Yeah, pollen. She's staying up in the top box, looks like. Well, let's take a look. Let's see, her brood was more this side, so let's take a look at this frame here. Yeah, pollen. a little bit of honey so yeah so these are all pretty much empty that's why this hive so light she's staying up in the top boxes she's not really coming down here so we'll have to uh, we'll probably have to reverse the boxes here when it's springtime gets there a little better we'll have to reverse the boxes Okay, well, we're just gonna, should I change the frame out? Take that honey cam, get the honey frame out and put it over here? I could, I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to, she's got so much over here. And I'm gonna take, one frame out I think and see if we can put it in here for this one let's see where do we want to put it okay that's some of their honey steel so we'll leave that one I think there's a frame I think it's this frame here. Yeah. Now that's got all their pollen on it. You know what? I'm just gonna let them go. They got honey right here. They got honey right there. They got pollen right here. I'm not going to do nothing with them. We're going to let them continue on. I think they'll be fine. Especially February starts hitting. 
I think they'll be just fine. So, all right, well, good deal. All right, let's close the book back up there. <clears throat> oh, watch out, girl. About smashed you. Just about smashed you. all closed up. Good deal. Alrighty. That's a great January report there. I say it's 65 degrees. It's supposed to be 70 degrees by the end of the the afternoon so it's uh looking real good it's like i say we've still got another month of uh up and down weather never know what january is going to hold at least we're uh, almost one week into it and uh hopefully february will be like last year uh keep an eye on my laurel trees my laurel shrubs i guess i should say uh Last February, before I got my bees and everything, there were bees on the laurel flowers, and it was blooming in uh, February. So keep an eye on those. See when they start opening up, you start seeing bees on those, and uh, it's probably a good indication to uh, get them going again. So we'll get them built up. She'll start uh, laying more once it starts warming up a little better, and uh, keep on uh, trucking. Like I said, this is the uh, start of my second season, and uh, if you enjoyed my first season, I appreciate you watching it. If, uh, if you wanted to uh, follow me along in my second season, uh, just click the uh, subscribe button, uh, and throw a like at it, a video if you want to, and to help me in the search uh, engines. And uh, we're gonna do some splits this year, so just uh, hang tight. We'll get them going. I'll take you through that adventure. This might be my first splits, and I'm going to do uh, the uh, OTS system uh, on the spot split. So we're going to try our hand at that. See if we can't double our hives. But that's all I uh, got for you for this one. I'll be seeing you.